There's a ballot question that you might be voting on this spring, and Chief Ken Watkins from the Grand Junction Fire Department is here to explain exactly what this sales tax increase would mean for the fire department. So what exactly are you guys, I suppose, asking for in this ballot question? Yeah, thank you. Um, so the fire department needs are pretty easy to understand. Mm -hmm. As the community has grown, we do not have fire stations uh, in the outlying areas where we've seen a lot of growth. So we need additional fire stations to cover our geographical area, but also to make uh, inroads into our longer response time areas. So we're asking for three additional fire stations, mm -hmm. um, two in the north area, one in the east area, that would help improve that for, for our uh, citizens. And I know it's not just for fire. The police department is also involved in this. But one of the things that people might be a little bit confused mm -hmm. about is they might say, oh, well, what about the public safety sales tax that was passed last year? But that doesn't actually go to you guys. A little bit went to dispatch, right? Mm -hmm. Will you explain that for me? Yeah, thank you. Um, so the Mace County public safety tax that was voted on last November uh, was primarily for the sheriff's office and the uh, district attorney's office. Uh, <laughs> there was a small amount that goes to the city. Uh, we're dedicating that to dispatch services. So that money is not being used at all for police officers or firefighters. For sure. And that's why you guys need this. And I believe there were a few kind of staggering facts about how much you guys call volume has increased, mm -hmm. which does sound like it would be a very stressful ordeal, especially if you don't have all the resources to handle that. And Grand Junction is just growing, it yeah. seems like. But it would also help our police department. Now, what would it do for the police department? Well, the police department's challenge is that as the call volume has grown for them, just mm -hmm. like the fire department, the officers are really going call to call to call. And so they do not have time to do uh, uh, quality community policing where they're actually out pat patrolling and doing things other than being on calls or doing the um, administrative work on those calls. So this ballot uh, question would add police officers to spread out that workload and help them have more time to be more uh, out there doing more community policing. Yeah. And then there's also some transportation needs that this would meet. One we actually just talked about in um, the first half of our show, the mm -hmm. I-70 and 29 road interchange, yeah. which I would love another exit yeah. off the highway personally, but that's kind of a personal thing. But yeah. then you guys were also thinking about improvements to 24 and 25 road and creating the F and a half road parkway. I know there's more than that, but those are the three big ones, correct? And what would that do for you guys who are rushing around mm -hmm. to calls and using these roads probably in the most serious fashion that many people need to use them? Yeah, that's a great point. I think that people probably forget that the transportation network really is all about public safety also. Mm -hmm. So we need this these, uh, transportation expansion, the roads you talked about, um, to really help us with our response times get around into those areas in the community that we need to be. Um, so we have some, th this uh, ballot question, if it does include transportation, mm -hmm. it's not for maintenance of roads, it's for uh, true expansion of the road system. And besides the public safety, safety aspect of that, you know, we know growth is coming. Growth is here now, but we also know growth is coming from the front range. A lot of uh, folks are trying to get out of that traffic mm -hmm. situation over there. And so we want to be proactive in our road network before people get here. That makes sense to yeah. me. I don't like traffic more than yeah. anyone else, I think. And so yeah. tonight you guys can go to the city council meeting. There's going to be a lot of discussion about this question there tonight. I'm sure you'll be there. Will, will you? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> of course. Of course. Will. Long day for you, Chief. Yeah. But if you guys have any more questions about this, go to that city council meeting or just visit westernslipnow.com where we'll have all this information posted for you.